Hello and welcome back to the next video of this Kotlin programming series. Now in this video we will learn about the control statements in case of Kotlin. Now there are some changes in case of control statements in case of Kotlin. Such as we can use the if else condition as an expression. And instead of switch case statement we have when statement in case of Kotlin. So let us first check out the if else conditional statements in case of Kotlin. Now here I have simply defined two values a equal to 2 and b equal to 5. Now here I will simply define a var max value. Let's say int. And now down the side I will simply write a typical if else condition. If a is greater than b then simply assign max value equal to a. Right? And then else max value equal to b. And then finally, we are simply going to print the max value, right? Let us now run the code. So here in the output, we get 5. So we have simply written a code to find the maximum value of these two numbers a and b, right? Now in Kotlin, we have if expressions. Now we can use the if condition as an expression. So how to do that? So in that case, instead of defining the max value here, what I will do is, I will simply assign it to the max value directly. And here, I will simply remove it. The max value. And now, let us try to clean up our code. So here, what I am doing is, this is the if as an expression. Now, if a is greater than b, then simply return a and assign it to the max value variable. Else, simply return b which is the maximum value and assign it to this variable. And at the end, simply print the value. Let us now run the code. So in the output again, we get 5. So in Kotlin, we can make the if condition to return some value. Now suppose, if I have the multiple lines of code inside the if condition. So which value will be returned and stored to the max value variable. Now suppose, I have a code block. So here what do I have is, I am having the code block if condition here and else part here. Now suppose if I have multiple lines of code here, let's say print a is greater and simply copy the code from here and paste it here and here simply print b is greater, right? So in this situation where we have multiple lines of code within the if block and also else block so which of the following will be returned? Now as per the rule, the last statement that is defined inside the if condition will be returned. So here the last part is a and here the last piece of code is b. So here a will be returned and here b will be returned, right? So this code will be executed and then a will be returned and similarly this code will be executed and then b will be returned. And now let us run the code. So here we get b is greater and at last we are printing the value of max value variable, right? So in this way we are actually using the if else condition as an expression. Now this if condition is returning some value. So that is why we call it if as expression.